Well, welcome everybody. It's the Gratitude Guy with another special guest, my good friend Dig Vijay Shohan. And I was thinking prior to having Dig Vijay on the special guest video that I met Dig Vijay about, uh, I don't know, probably a year and a half ago now. We have a very similar mindset and feeling towards gratitude and being grateful. So, welcome to the special guest video, Mr. Dig Vijay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and a delight. Absolutely. The to pleasure be here. is mine. And as you know that watch our special guest videos, I have one basic question that uh, I ask everybody that uh, they get to be surprised about, and that is, Dave Vijay, what are you grateful for? You know, I'm just grateful for all the amazing people in my life uh, that I have done very little to deserve being in their company and all the other gifts, all, all, you know, just simple things like sitting in this amazing place. There's billions of people in this world who have, I, I've done nothing different from them to, to deserve uh, being able to sit here with an amazing person who has dedicated his life, a lot, large portion of his life to yes. spreading joy through gratitude mm -hmm. and uh, and this beautiful uh, scenery out there that I don't know whether our viewers can see, but beautiful Lake Washington. So I, I'm just, my just cup overflows with gratitude because I don't think I've done anything to deserve any of this. Well, I think for those of us that uh, have, have heard people like Dave Vijay express himself, I think it's called humility and grace. And it's a great quality. I, do my Monday morning minutes and one of them was confidence and humility. What a great combination. Dig Vijay is very uh, accomplished and at the same time very humble. So is there something that you would put at the top of your list that if you said, well, here's the things I'm most grateful for, is there something that might be at number one or number two to share with the viewers? You know, I, I think it's a perspective that somehow for some reason and I attribute it to maybe aspects of it to my upbringing, my parents, my, we believe in karma, so past karma maybe, I don't know, but, but it's just such a blessing uh, to have a perspective where you're aware of how fortunate you are. Every breathing moment or second, if you're aware of how fortunate you are for everything you have, mm -hmm. you know, that perspective I think makes life much more joyful and any small minor challenges much easier to tolerate and so you know when I think about all the things that I can be grateful for every moment with that perspective I don't know it's not of my own doing mm -hmm. there was some philosopher that said something like you can do what you will but you cannot will what you will mm -hmm. and this I I, is somebody that Einstein I think I forget his name uh, was used to uh, look up to. So I don't think it's anything to do with mm -hmm. me, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing. Well, as I mentioned too about your humility is, is uh, admirable and I appreciate it, but I think you do something else very well that maybe not everybody does. You set a great example. And I've said for a lot of years when I've managed people or raised children, I personally think the most important skill you can develop around those two disciplines is setting a great example. You set a great example. But That's very important. Thank you, David. But I do want to point something out that there are a few souls who dedicate their life when they find something that makes other people or can make other people happier, more joyful, then they somehow feel compelled to dedicate their time, effort, energy into doing that versus a million other things they could be doing and you're one of those people and oh, I am you. so grateful to you for that thank because you. you know you could be doing you're one of the most hardworking one of the most disciplined kindest oh, thank you uh, people I know and I've known a few and you could be doing a million other things with your life but it gives you joy to spread well, exactly. gratitude the word of gratitude and that exactly and thank you for saying that because to me it feels like a calling and I remember the gal's name was Melody that said to me, David, you need to be 
somebody that I know, Big Virginia, and that's how we met. And every time I see her, I will smile and I give her a wave and thank you because she's the one that introduced me to this fine gentleman because we have such a similar mindset. And it feels like a calling. It feels like something that this we're called to do. And for that, I feel like you'd be very blessed that that's, that got into my mind and directed me towards that. It's very fulfilling. It reminds me of a title of a book that another person I respect a lot, Paul Shoemaker, wrote about Can't Not Do was the name of his mm -hmm. book. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you, and David. Thank you, you bet. And thank you for tuning in. We'll have another uh, special guest next week. I also appreciate people following uh, the Gratitude Guy. So until then, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Jimmy Jay. Thank you so much. You thank bet. you. And thank you.